Good morning everyone, hope you're all doing well. Today is Tuesday for me and it's actually a public holiday here today so I don't actually have work today which is so good and neither do my parents but my dad's gone out on some like wildlife bird trip type nature thing, I don't know, with one of his friends. He's gone off there about half an hour or so ago. It's currently just gone nine and I'm just about getting up now and I'm about to head down for some breakfast and then of course because my mum hasn't got work either she's at home too so we're thinking of going out for lunch it's currently a really nice day there's a nice clear blue sky so I think we might go along the seafront for some lunch later on which would be really nice my mum was also like oh we could have a proper nice girly day go shopping and everything as well then we realised you know it's a public holiday meaning the shops will be shut so that plan failed but we'll at least go out for a nice lunch which should be good and yeah besides that I haven't really got much else planned for today so we'll just kind of see where the day goes about to go get myself some toast though as it's toast Tuesday and have some almond butter banana toast of course because that's what I always do oh also it's the first of May today so again white rabbits if you've been watching my vlogs then you know that's like my family tradition you have to say white rabbits at the beginning of the month if not it's it means you'll have bad luck for the rest of the month and you have to do it on the first day before 12 o'clock which I have managed to do, but I'm still trying to find anyone else who does that. Like, I just always do it because I've always been brought up told to do that, but I don't know where it actually comes from or if anyone else does it, because I know everyone does, like, pinch punch first of the month, but anyway, I am going to change this. Oh, I always do this. I need two hands to change this, but maybe I'll manage. Let me see. Can I do this? <gasps> I might have... Oh, I'm not even filming that. Where's the hole gone to put the pin in? Oh, there we go. Yes, I managed to change that with one hand. Hang on, where has April gone though? I'm just sort of like, yes, first of May and whatever, but I'm actually just taking a moment to realise we're nearly halfway through the year technically. April still feels like the beginning of the year, then May feels like it's like basically almost summer, which it pretty much is. I'm also just going to change this desk calendar. But yeah, like the year's just going. So I'm getting rid of this one, April showers and the rain no flowers. I actually keep all of these because they're so pretty, I can't bin them. And then now the May one says, she who dares wins. And the background actually matches my bedding. Like, must have known, like perfect colour coordination, synchronisation here with the patterns going on. <laughs> Yummy. Just noticed that I've got this huge buzzy fly in my room. Which I don't even know when it got in here because I've been sat in here a little while now just doing some editing and it's just started to buzz around and now it's really annoying me. It's literally huge as well. While the sky was completely blue, it's actually just started to rain. It was such a nice day and like, how was it that sunny this morning? I wonder if it's going to get any better because I mean, right now sitting along the seafront doesn't seem like such a nice idea anymore. Oh, it's going to be okay. But at like 1 o'clock it's 40% chance rain and then at 2 o'clock it's supposed to just be cloudy. So might still be able to get out for lunch without getting wet. We will have to see. It's officially now just started to chuck it down. You can't even see on camera. But it's like throwing it down. That sound, if you can hear it, I don't know. But that's just the rain. It's like suddenly really heavy and really horrible. I've just been having a lovely chilled kind of morning. Well, I got yesterday's vlog all edited, done a bit of video planning as well, and then just, yeah, not really been doing anything. I've literally just got out of my pyjamas, got myself ready for the day. It's five past one. I think me and mum are gonna head out for lunch now, at least for the moment as well. It's stopped raining. It's already growing cloudy though, so I think I'm gonna take my jacket with a hood on just in case it does suddenly tip it down again. But hopefully it'll hold off while we're out for lunch at least. And we're still going to go along the seafront even though it isn't the nicest day. I mean they do also have seats indoors so we'll see. We'll just go ahead out now hopefully before most people have decided to go out. Because also as it is a public holiday it does mean that more people are likely to be going out for lunch today. As that is the kind of thing that you do on a public holiday. But oh well we will see what it's like when we get there. Also you can tell it's colder because I just had one of those moments in the shower now where... You just sort of debate getting out and you have to prepare yourself for getting out and I haven't had that in the longest time. I've literally just been in the shower, like have a quick shower, get out and I'm all good. Whereas this time I was standing there, I was like, oh, I don't actually want to get out. So you can tell it's gone a bit colder again, which I'm not happy about. I was so happy that it actually finally felt spring and summery and warm, but hopefully this won't last for long and we'll soon get back to the summer weather. 
finally managed to get this little one in this crate. You went straight in for food, didn't you, Bobs? But Bailey, once again, was playing up. He keeps doing that at the moment. I keep having issues with trying to get him in and he keeps refusing, but... About five minutes this time to get him in. Oh, have you got your keys? <laughs> Don't want to lock us out. No. Well, we might need that as well. I don't have it. <laughs> We're not going to get far without that. Um, let me find it. Oh, here's the car key. Have you got your house keys? Okay, good. Because I don't want to end up locked out here, especially when it's not like this. Particularly nice weather. We've got those two cage well, at least they're not loose, though. Oh, um, Mum, can you do this? Cause my yeah. are a bit full. Thank you. And everyone else has had the same idea to come out for lunch. We're struggling to find parking right now. And everyone who looks like they're about to leave or go to their car is like, no, sorry, I'm just driving instead. Hopefully we'll find somewhere soon, though. But it's literally like there's even people double parked like over here. So, I mean, it's not looking too hopeful. But we'll hopefully find somewhere soon. Do you want to try the lemonade? <laughs> Finally made it into the restaurant and we have to go into the car park in the end because there just wasn't any spaces around. But it's all good that we've made it in. It's really busy as well actually. It just got myself some lemonade. It's like homemade lemonade as well. It's super nice. It's very tasty and refreshing. And also just ordered our food. I've gone for a sweet potato and chickpea burger, but it also comes in some like carbon bread. So the bread is actually black. I've had it once here before and it's really tasty, but it just looks funny because the bread's black. Yeah. Our food has come. So this is what I was saying about the black bread. It's fun. You can you can start. Yeah, I've got a picture. That's fine. And then it's a sweet potato and chickpea burger and some roasted veg and salmon on the side with like a spicy almond sauce, which is actually so tasty on the burger. It's really nice. And then mum's gone with, is it brie and chicken on there? Brie and chicken with some smashed avocado on some kind of bread. It looks very tasty. What are you two up to? You look like vampires attacking each other like that. I just picked up some of these on the way home from the petrol station. I've tried these before actually. I've had, I don't even know what flavours. <laughs> what are you two up to, eh? I can't remember what flavors I had. I think I've had the vanilla berries one before. Oh no. The dog's just been very noisy in the background. But yeah, I think I've had the vanilla berries one before. And then I've also picked up a coconut one to try and a protein one to try. But I don't think I've had either of those ones before. And I think that one tasted quite nice. They're made from... They're a bit like naked bars, actually. They're made from just sort of like dates and nuts and stuff. So they could be quite tasty, hopefully. I think I also tried an apple cinnamon one. They do as well. I had once a little while ago. But got a couple of new flavours to try as well. I might have one of those now or I might have a naked bar. I don't know. We've got Life Sentence to watch because we found out we had two episodes the other day and we only watched one. So we might watch that now. Do you want to watch that? You're wagging your tail. Do you want to watch Life Sentence of Us? Yes, please. Oh, yeah? Oh, you need a good boy. Good boy. You've got fur coming off all over the place, haven't you, Bob? Also smells like someone's currently having a barbecue outside. It always smells so good. I love the smell of barbecue. I was just saying this to mum though. Literally the smell of a barbecue, the whole idea of having a barbecue, and usually it's when you get like everyone together as well, and it's like a very summer thing to do, so it's like... I don't know, it's just because I love summer as well, so it's all great and stuff, and it smells amazing. But the food from a barbecue, I don't actually find it that exciting. It's great cooking up and the idea of it all and getting everyone together, and then you just end up with loads of food that isn't really that exciting. I don't know whether that's just me, but the actual barbecue food bit isn't so great, but I love the idea of also having a barbecue, so it's a bit kind of like... But it smells nice and we can appreciate the smells from the neighbours having one right now. Look, now we're back as well. The sun's started to come out a little bit. Oh no, mm. hang on, it's going behind a cloud a bit again. We didn't. We were maybe going to go for a bit of a walk along the seafront, but we didn't even think about it. We just literally headed straight back to the car because it just really wasn't that nice. And we didn't even sort of want to do that. But oh well, hopefully it'll brighten up a bit. And then when my dad comes back later and we take these pups for a walk, it'll be nice, hopefully. And they're back to fighting with each other. <laughs> Guys, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? You playing? You playing? Look at these two lazy bums. Been asleep most of the day, haven't you? Yeah. 
Sounds like there's now a storm on its way out there. Suddenly just loads of real loud thunder. And apparently there was just lightning a second ago as well. Don't know where the sun's gone. It was so nice early and then it started to come back again. We were going to take these pups for a walk and then it suddenly just started to rain again. And now it sounds like it's just suddenly going to feel like now. Now there's been thunder and storm. It's just going to suddenly go... Yeah. And there's going to be loads of rain. <laughs> they were both just outside and then it thundered and <laughs> came running back in scared. Yeah, Didn't balls, yeah. Don't bite <laughs> And this is what a storm does to two crazy people. Bobs, you don't have to bark every move you make. <laughs> Bailey's just running in and out and you're being very noisy about it watching a bit of the Vampire Diaries for a little while as I feel like I haven't seen it in a few days. I don't know actually, I could be wrong, but I just feel like I haven't seen it for a while so I thought why not give it a watch. And then I've also now just made some falafel for dinner. So I've got my falafel here, it's the red lentil Moroccan falafel that's on Naturally Nina's blog page. I've made this a couple of times before I think. And this time I actually had fresh coriander, I don't normally have fresh coriander to add to it so hopefully that should make it tasty. Then I've also got, well it was already tasty but even better. Then I've also got some buckwheat there, some spinach, cucumber and peppers. And then I've got a big dollop of hummus on the side to dip some of this veg and stuff in. So that should be really tasty. Gonna sit and enjoy that now. I might watch a little bit of YouTube actually while I do as well. I'm just about to head to bed now. I also just thought I'd mention quickly that I just tried some chocolate mulberries so it's like mulberries covered in raw chocolate they're by the raw chocolate company and they were so tasty so i just thought they were definitely worth a mention i was just having some of those while watching a bit of youtube and so you have like the dried mulberries in the middle covered in the raw chocolate and the mulberries like, are so nice and chewy and like caramelly and sweet tasting and then obviously the dark raw chocolate on the outside i mean who doesn't love chocolate anyway that tastes so good they're the kind of thing that once you just start you just keep eating i think that was supposed to be like two portions per pack I just kind of ended up eating the whole thing because they were so good. Does now mean that I don't have any more though, so I'll have to try and get some somehow. I bought them though when I was in London from Planet Organics. I don't know how I'm going to get some, but they were really tasty. But anyway, I'm going to head to bed now because I'm so sleepy. So I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. Smash the thumbs up if you did. Click the red subscribe button down below if you're new. And I'll see you tomorrow with a brand new vlog. Night.